I feel like I need some cookies today. It's rainy, I wanna be cozy, and cookies seem like the right thing to do. So I'm going to make some iced oatmeal cookies. I feel like I've seen these at the store maybe, you know, those thin oatmeal cookies with the icing just kind of like spread unevenly on the top. That's just what I'm wanting right now. I saw a recipe from Kroll's Corner on Instagram and I will link them as well as this recipe down below in the description. They looked delicious, so now I need to have them. My oven is preheating to 375 Fahrenheit. I have all of my ingredients mised out, so this should be really easy to throw together. Get in the oven so they can cool, I can ice them, and then I can eat them. Let's get started. These are going to be really good cookies. And do you wanna know how I know they're gonna be really good? Because we're starting off with brown butter and lots of it. Make sure you get all of those bits off the bottom. I'm gonna set this aside to cool just for a little bit while I get my dry ingredients together. In my bowl here, I've got some all-purpose flour. The recipe does call for half all-purpose and half cake, but I don't have cake flour, so I just went all all-purpose. It should be fine, fingers crossed. To my flour, I'm going to put my oats that I just blitzed up a little bit in my food processor. Not completely, I still want them to be kind of whole, but not like a dust. Baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Cornstarch. Cinnamon, some freshly ground nutmeg, and the recipe does not call for it, but I'm adding a little bit of cloves. Just gonna whisk this real quick just to combine everything as well as I can so there aren't any random clumps of whatever anywhere. Back to the butter. This has cooled just a little bit, just enough. I'm gonna add my sugars, so white sugar and brown sugar. <whistles> Oven's ready. Break that up a little bit and incorporate it. I'm gonna add my vanilla and my eggs. Need something more substantial. I'm gonna combine my dry with my wet and carefully fold everything in. Might seem like it's never gonna come together, but slowly but surely, everything will start to incorporate. And there we go. We're all mixed in. Looks and smells perfect. I've got my two tablespoon scoop here. Sheet tray lined with parchment paper. Going to town. Since I don't know how much these will spread for this first batch, I'm just going to not put a ton on here. All right, these are going in my preheated oven for nine to 11 minutes, but everyone's oven is different. You know your oven check them where you think you should check them. I will probably start checking at nine minutes, but you want them to be done. A little bit of a browning on the edges starting, but not, you know, burnt to a crisp. Here is my first batch. I am not thrilled. I was hoping that they would spread a little more, but they're done. This was after 11 minutes. I didn't want to cook them anymore. They smell like heaven. Like, it reminds me of walking down Main Street at Disney. That's, that's what these smell like. So I'm gonna let these cool for just a few on the pan, then I will transfer them to a wire rack. I'm hoping while they cool, they'll kind of deflate a little bit, which will make me a little happier. But I think the next batch I might manually flatten a little bit just to experiment. Ooh, I can't wait to eat these. <laughs> While those are doing their thing in the oven, I'm going to make my glaze. Just sifted some powdered sugar and I'm just gonna put some milk in here. It's hard to determine measurements with a glaze like this. You kind of just have to go with it. If it's too loose, add some more sugar. If it's too tight, add some more liquid. But I'm looking for a pretty loose texture. I don't want it to be so thick, but I also don't want it to be runny. So I'm just gonna play with it and see what happens. Oh, I want to put salt in here. A little bit of kosher salt, just to balance out the sweetness. Actually, this is like really perfect texture for me. I'm not gonna touch it. See, it's just like, it's not thick, thick, but it's definitely not very runny. I couldn't help it. I had to dig into one just to like, see what the flavor was going on in here, but mm, they're 
really good. They're definitely fluffier than I wanted, but they have a really good flavor and I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how these taste with the glaze, so stay tuned. That is more of what I was thinking, but they're still fluffy. Maybe that's just how they're supposed to be and I'm not used to that, but these look much better, I think, than these. Although I really liked the ridgy tops of these. I think the glaze will look better on these. I don't know, whatever, we're going with it. This might be the better batch yet. What I did here was I scooped them like normal and I still wanted to flatten them out, but I didn't want them to be completely flat. So what I did was like push my knuckles into them a little bit so I could create a little bit of like a divot situation. And I think it was okay. That seems to be my method. I thought I'd share. Got my cookies got my glaze i have one of my parchment paper lined sheets under here to catch the extra glaze we're just going to take dip place and then i'm going to let these harden up a little bit let it excess drip off it's not coming out how i want it to right now but we'll see what happens These, I want to harden up just a little bit. They aren't looking like I imagined them to look, but they look delicious and they smell insane. Because it can't be helped, I am who I am. I'm gonna sprinkle a little flaky salt. It just must be done. I'm going to let them cool completely, let the icing set up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna dig into one. The time has come. Nice little iced cookie. Mm, these are really good. The flavor is so good. The texture is a fluffier cookie than I'm used to, but I don't mind it. The glaze adds something crazy, just perfect. These are really good. Mm, they're so good. And I'm usually not an oatmeal cookie fan, you gotta try them. Enjoy.